You're watching Alaska's Sports Source. Well, it's that time of the fishing season where we say so long to king salmon and hello to silvers, and you don't have to venture too far from the Anchorage area to catch some coho in this week's fishing report. Woo! That is what we're here for, folks. The cohos have finally showed up, man. It is a rite of passage in the summertime. It's beautiful. Not only did the cohos show up, but so did the beautiful weather and the sunshine. Summer is finally here. It's about time as we near the end of July, the in-between period of the salmon season with king harvests closing mid-July and the coho run just starting to make a splash. We're just waiting for those silvers to really come in strong. Right now it's time for silver season, kings are done, and we're really thinking about silvers. While anglers are thinking silvers, many are catching and releasing pinks, but that's okay because it still beats fishing in most other places. Like I live right on a river in uh, Montana, and we only have trout, so it's kind of nice to catch like bigger fish on the river like this. I didn't expect it to be so uh, busy though. But it's always busy at Ship Creek, the popular and productive fishery near the port of Alaska, where many out-of-state visitors stop to watch Alaskan salmon fishing live in action right near downtown. It's a spectator sport down there, these silvers this time of year. It's fun to sit up on the bridge and watch people kind of pointing the, the schools of fish out, where to cast, how to reel. Uh, they get into it just as much as the anglers do down on the water. The silver's right behind that, okay? Just let it float. Remaining in town, Campbell Creek runs right through the heart of Anchorage, but provides a different fishing experience. There's a great map in the regulations book that you'll definitely want to check out for before you head to Campbell, because there's some open areas, some closed areas, some trout-only areas, catch and release, but the map lays that all out really nicely. And that's not tidally affected, but you're going to want to watch the water levels. The uh, coho tend to come in when we get a little bit of rain. Venturing a little further towards Girdwood lies beautiful Bird Creek, which is tidally affected like Ship Creek, so tide timing does matter, which you can find online. Fishing that incoming tide is going to be your best bet, so waiting for about three hours before high tide, two to three hours, to make sure that you're following those fish in. Different creeks with different methods, whether drifting cured salmon eggs under a bobber, tossing spinners, or using pixie lures, no matter where or how you cast a line, you'll likely run into some fish and some families. Lots of folks down there, lots of families, lots of young kids down there bending rods, hooking fish, and having fun. And all salmon other than kings can be harvested at limits of three per day and three in position other than Campbell Creek, where it is just silvers. And fishing report ideas can always be sent to sports at KTU.com.